I don't know anything about Benny and the Jets. I'm excited. You don't like their band? Uh, it's well, got good music, man. I do like their music. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so we we do know for one thing, he does understand about, uh, the throw combos that he has. You know, going for the up throw really early, that right. could have p potentially led to like a drag down into another one. Right. Joker's up air is so good, being able to drag down and try to extend the combos for as long as possible, especially if you're underneath the platform. Yep. Smashville is actually a pretty solid stage for him, honestly, as long as he chills like below the stage. And every single time you see him taking damage, that meter is going to keep growing and growing. Arsene will eventually come out. There he is, Persona, indeed. Oh, he almost died, but yeah. you know, Arsene gives him those wings. I was about to say, you saw that direct. Like, yeah. he went further than the eight yeah. <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> My man goes super far. He gets a little bit of invincibility right at the startup, but he's completely vulnerable. Like, right there, there was a chance for Tweak to actually go off and try to two frame him. Uh oh, and this is the scary part. The moment they start setting up for those backers when you get put in disadvantage, you have to be careful, man. But right. again, Tweak manages to keep that control. And you can definitely see that Tweak's, uh, you know, not only is he in control, he's very aware of what's going on around him. He saw the bike break, he merely just eats the tire for free damage because yep. he was nowhere near Benny. Might as well just get some free health back in there. He's looking for a forward smash at this point, try to cast that landing. I don't know if it'd kill at this percent, but definitely would put, like, send him a message. He ate the Aha. That i never that, seen happen that, in my entire life. My man is getting something for eating that, the, man. The like, fact, that, his stomach is cursed. The, the fact that he was stationary and then <laughs> swallowed the projectile. It looked intended, you know? Right. <laughs> Absolutely insane stuff, and right now, again, having a tough time capitalizing off of Tweak being in the air, dude. Mm. Two missed forward smash opportunities. I mean, up smash does a pretty decent job as well as an anti air. Doesn't have the greatest horizontal range, but it does the job. You saw Benny start to set him up with that first swing of forward air, which is really good for a combo starter. Uh, didn't really recognize because it requires you to go for a full jump right afterwards to try to like follow up with it. Uh -huh. so we'll see if you try to be aware, but hold on, we got Waft on deck here. Mm, one thing I did like that I saw from Benny and the Jets is his use of the guns to try to land. He doesn't use them that much, but there it is, Arsene back on track, and he's able to get a KO on Tweak, but he's already halfway towards 100. Never mind, this there guy is already 4% past. Good night. Losing the stock. Good night. That was off of up till, right? My God. Like, honestly, I mean, that, that's like one of his best combos to get started into a walk. Yep, just like we said before, man, like the, the changes that he had going into this game allowed him to have a lot, great, a lot better combo tools. So, good job right there for Sakurai making Wario way more viable in this game. And you saw Benny get that parry on the second swing of neutral air, tried to go for a grab right afterwards, but Tweak's, not, not only Tweak, but Wario's aerial mobility is so good, it allows him to be able to back off, fade away, try to you know get away from whatever reaction that uh, Benny wants to go after. Oh yeah, that's a thing ever since like Brawl, right? Just yes. like Wario's aerial mobility, it's crazy. This is why some people who come from Melee would sometimes liken this character to be like the quote unquote Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, yeah. All right. So, so a lot of control here going on from Tweak. You see him once again. Just has the waft on deck. Mm -hmm. Could be coming up. It's, it's a halfer, but it could still do some massive damage. So so scary to deal with, too, right here. Still trying to space with the Aha, which he can even use in the air. And, and drift, too, to make it like unpredictable where he might land. And you saw him actually go for the grappling hook as well, which is easy if he sees Wario like, going for a full hop right above him. Really good at just kind of dragging him down Mortal Kombat style. There it is. I like that he finally decided to use that gun special right there to get the landing. And you saw him even use the fair upon landing, too, yeah. showing his hand. Probably a little too soon. Yeah, man. I mean, he's got a gun, so might as well use it. Oh, oh nice call up. He's going to make it back. back. No. My gosh. That's unfortunate. Because sometimes the grappling hook going from below the stage, that far in, can be tough to land. It's, it's almost like a 50-50 if it's actually going to work or not. Because for Joker to catch that ledge, he's got to be at quite the specific spot when he's in that angle. Oh, indeed. Yeah. I was wondering if maybe using the guns and then the the, the, the air dash afterwards yeah. would I feel probably like could, help him out. I felt like he could have potentially made that back okay. if, 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 he, if he changed it up. But maybe he was like in the middle of a panic because he didn't expect to take that trade. I think he just wanted to get the back air and maybe the trade would like maybe push him towards the ledge. But yeah. it put him at such a terrible angle that he was not able to recover. But a good showing from Benny. That's going to be Tweak taking away game number one. Mm -hmm. TSM Tweak. Yeah, one thing I definitely would like to see more from... Uh, Oh, wait, it says Lemon now? Okay. So one thing I would like to see more from Lemon, actually, oh. is maybe when he when he goes for that bear pressure, he went for, like, rising bear pressure, falling down with the bear, and then immediately rising with the bear afterwards sometimes can catch players off guard or go landing with the bear and then using your dash, right, to keep things ambiguous. Here it is again. So Tweak, oh, my gosh. Dude, um, in the last game, he kept getting a lot of good grabs to open up his opponent to basically tell him, you can't sit still against me. I want you to move around so I could start capitalizing on your potential, like, on your movement, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Force you in the corner, make you feel like you have to move because you don't want to get grabbed every time. 
Nice. Those are my, that's that's like one of the smartest things. Yeah, honestly, it, it's, it's stuff like that that requires you to be able to like you know go in there, get that aerial mobility going. Now we're back in the center stage, looking mm -hmm. pretty even so far. Joker's about to get some meter for him. Allowed to uh, bust out Arsen. Arsen giving him that extra knockback that needs to try to get that uh, solidify these kills. But you know, good patience for Tweak. Obviously, going for a grab for a ledge get up, one of the safest options any character can honestly go for. Because if, if they opt to go for a shield upon getting up, it goes right through. You don't even have to time it correctly. Exactly. One thing I like about Tweak too is how he's still consistently one of the best ledge trappers, even in this game. Yeah. Like, if you remember his cloud from back at then. Oh, God, he just could not get to the stage. It was reminiscent of almost like almost on par with Zero's ledge yeah. trapping back in Smash 4. Indeed. That was disgusting. Ooh, nice. Oh, my catch. Yeah, especially because you saw Tweak try to avoid the invincibility there. Oh, but, he wow. just ate the bike. Just get some health back. Mm -hmm. There you go. If your percent counts. Joker right there. I love his, like, ground tools. You know, his jab, his F tilt. Especially if you space it properly. Good stuff by Tweak there, though. Making sure to get that falling up yep. to extend it a little further. And that, all that damage is based off of Lemon going for kind of a greedy forward smash. If he managed to land that, it would have put him in a good spot. But because he did, he took 58 damage in the process. At least he's got our sent out now. Oof. Ooh, back here? And you saw that crazy knockback. Tweak. Wow, well timed there, dodge right there. I heard that crazy knockback. You hear <laughs> that man's boot? Yeah, man, it's it's so scary. Right now, we have our send that's almost offline. Okay. Forward tilt. And honestly, at this point, you might not even need Arsen anymore to get the skill. He's at 150%. Just needs like a solid back air off stage. Okay, there the Sets guns again. Up. Yep. Yep. Oh, but wait, hold on a sec. That's Wafts. You see him blinking. You got to play extremely careful. I don't think Tweak's going to use it for this stock. He might save it for the next one. He's already got him at 96%. Goes for another back air right afterwards. Okay, lets him come back on stage right here. Oh, this oh. is the tough spot. Oh, I thought Tweak was actually going to go deep with the down air to intercept the tether up. I think what he, he was expecting Lemon to just immediately get back onto the ledge yeah. because he was completely vulnerable because uh, he already expended his invincibility. So that's what Tweak had in mind. So good on Lemon reacting to that and just kind of chilling down below. But Tweak's still going to take away that stock. This is still three stocks to one. My man getting, uh, getting a lot of damage here. Can't find his mark with the kill, though. Like, Tweak is just living. That's the thing about Tweak, man. Being so experienced when it comes to this game, even though right there, we did see Lemon manage to get the stock here. Representing Canada right now. Doesn't want to quite go out with a 2-0 loss. Oh, missing his combo timing. Allowing Tweak to continue to mount the pressure. Okay, he's back on the ledge. Tweak mm -hmm. looking to try to play safe. Going with the Nair's coming right down with the uh, guns. And honestly, that move is really good for helping Joker land sometimes. Oh, because yeah. if you're just chilling down there, you have to, like, it forces you to hold shield. It goes for like a little baby wop just to add on some extra damage. Yeah, right here. Fading back. Has to re-grab edge. Okay, Tweak missing the punish right there. Gets up. Ooh, that was a bit ambiguous too on the landing, right? Yeah. The landing behind. Yeah, it, was a, it was kind of a mysterious cross up. Okay, right now you could see Tweak is extremely comfortable trying to apply some mix up pressure, some more cross ups just to keep Lemon guessing. Lemon right now basically on the ropes. Arsene almost there too, but is it too little too late, Austin? I don't know, man. He's already at 126%. Things are not looking bleak. Tweak's literally just one combo away from getting this win. But hold on a sec, Lemon Ooh. almost had the control there. He's keeping him off stage, forcing out the bike, one of his resources to get back to the stage. Ooh. And I feel like Lemon's just going for like these really hard reads because he feels like it's a necessity for him, right? He wants to get this kill like ASAP. And up smash with Arsene might end up killing at this much rage. Ooh, and right there, after that grab clank, he kind of kind of messed up a little bit. A little bit of sm small amount of Arsene left. Can't quite close out the KO with Wario being the heavy character that he is too. It's going to be tough. With Chomp. Almost got the kill. I've never seen that spark before. Looking very crazy. Uh -oh. Yeah, if he was closer to the edge, I think we would have seen it. Down air? Not quite. Okay. Yeah, I'm noticing that Lemon's getting these weird air dodges off stage, and it's putting him in such a bad position every single time. Okay, looking for the up smash. Oh, we got a trade with the F tilt. Yep. Again, Tweak is just dominating the stage, not allowing Lemon to find any sort of stage control whatsoever. Catches the shield. Eating as much as he can before tossing away the seconds, man. He doesn't want to finish his meal. That's going to be a 2-0 victory for TSM Tweak in pretty dominant fashion. I mean, we saw, we saw how much, how much control Tweak had that whole match. I just felt like Lemon almost was, just was uncomfortable yes. near the end. Control is definitely the name of the game. Like, remember when I.